Hey y'all, welcome back to Simple Man's Barbecue. Uh, I'm Jason. Today I'm going to be doing a, um, a really delicious bean dip. One of my subscribers had uh, asked me if I could actually um, show him how to do a really good bean dip. And this is my version of bean dip and I hope you like it. And this is the ingredients you're going to need, just in case if y'all are interested. Um, one, uh, one thing of cream cheese, uh, one can of uh, refried beans, sour cream, Rotel tomatoes, uh, Mexican style blend cheese and some taco seasoning. Let's get started. All right, folks, what I got here is I got a can of uh, refried beans in here. I got some uh, cream cheese, a block of cream cheese, and I, uh, a half a cup of sour cream. And I'm going to give this a good mix with a cake mixer. All right, folks, let's hope I don't uh, make a mess all everywhere. <laughs> I'm not very good at using these things. Last time I tried to use these with mashed potatoes, I sprayed mashed potatoes everywhere. That's because you tried to put it on like five. <laughs> so I'm going to just give this a good mix before I add my other ingredients. I'm just going to make it nice and whipped. Alright folks, now that I got that all whipped up, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the rest of my ingredients, some um, Rotel tomatoes. Let me tell you folks, you can't go wrong with Rotel, okay? I'm going to add about half a bag of cheese right here. Just some regular Kroger, Kroger uh, Mexican blend cheese. I'm going to add about half of this. I'm going to save the other half. Then I'm going to take my taco seasoning. Just go ahead and dump that in there. And just give it a good uh, mix around. Oh, that yeah, smells wonderful. Just kind of incorporate all this real good. Oh, folks, this is going to be the best bean dip you'll ever have, man. Just trust me. Give it a try. All right, folks. Normally, you're supposed to put this dish in a baking dish and put it in the oven and cook it uh, just to melt the cheese and get it all nice and gooey. But today, I ran into a problem. Uh, my oven just crapped out on me, and it's not working. So I'm going to try to wing this, and I'm going to try to put it in a pot and uh, melt it that way. So let's transfer this to this pot. Me and my... There we go. Come on out. Every little bit. All right, folks. I'm just gonna simmer this up real quick until it gets the cheese gets nice and gooey, and then I'm gonna transfer it to a baking dish. All right, folks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this to this little dish right here, this casserole dish. Now that I got the cheese all nice and melted and it's nice and hot, just dump it in there like that. And like I said, I'm usually supposed to do this in the oven, so I'm doing it on uh, my stove top right now. So while I have it nice and hot, I'm going to put the rest of my cheese on here. So hopefully the retaining heat from this uh, dip will melt the rest of this cheese. <laughs> Alright folks, this actually worked out pretty good, a lot better than I expected. As you can see, the uh, cheese that I had put on top has melted in uh, nice and well, so that's awesome. And uh, right now, I'm just for a little bit of color, not for any kind of flavor, I'm just going to put some parsley flakes on here. Just for a little bit of color, folks. I know how y'all love y'all's color. All right, folks, that was nice and simple. Even though the oven crapped out on me, the stovetop worked excellent for me. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a dip, shall we? Come on, folks, that doesn't look good to you. We just can't be friends, folks. Look at that. Here, 
Here we go, folks. Sorry, it's hot as hell. But, oh my God, that is so good, folks. Excuse me, I'm eating like a pig here. That Amazing. is delicious, folks. It's simple and easy. Y'all know me. That's all I do. Simple and easy, baby. I keep it simple. Um, I'll put a list of the ingredients on the um, on the description. Please, y'all, give this a try, man. You and your family will love it, and your family and friends will thank you for it. It's wonderful. It's the best bean dip you'll ever have. I promise you. And if you want a little bit more spice to it, you can put some jalapenos, habaneros, whatever kind of peppers you want in there. Listen, folks, I appreciate y'all watching today. I appreciate y'all, who those of you who always watch. Um, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'd much appreciate it. And I, once again, I appreciate, appreciate you all watching, and y'all have yourself a great day. Always keep it simple.